Are you okay? <laughs> okay, so I'll do my own drum roll. Got it. <laughs> Dude, what is that? No, that sounds Mexican. <laughs> Wait, babe, you would literally sit there and pee in your parents' pool and jacuzzi? While they're next to me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Steve Jobs. Uh, thanks, thanks for Steve. making us less colorful. Yeah, you know he he's dead. He's dead, bro. <laughs> oh my <laughs> What's the episode? Episode nine. <laughs> Wait, oh, dude, dude, my basketball hoop. Could you could you Is show it, it from this camera? Could uh, you show it from this camera? I know you can. I know you fun. can. There's a huge chance I might <clears throat> lose a basketball hoop right now. I think we need to lay it down. No, no, I have it tied to my rail. Am I hitting record? I have it tied to my rail, and it's still like. It's storming. It's storming today, guys. It it's is, a storm. It's a storm. It's a storm. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it, boys and girls. It with your and glowing ass skin. It, oh my God, my toes are so hairy. Your toes are not glowing, but your skin is glowing. Hey, Reed, <laughs> uh, be honest with me. Are my toes showing over there? On that right cam? Now? Yeah, on that cam right there. No, this is like here. Good, 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 good. Because I just got to <laughs> shave my little, my little toes here. They're just. Little gremlin toes? So hairy. Why is this so loud? Don't Jessica, open. close the door. Unless she's coming back in. Jessica, you're ruining the intro to this podcast. Close the fucking door already. What? Close the door. Go over there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing to do is yell at Jessica when she's doing something for me. I think it's the funniest thing. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she enjoys it just as much as you. <laughs> I love you, Jess. Um, <laughs> should we start over? I feel like we just kind of were like all over the place. I thought that's what you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> you literally... Well, I was like, we should talk about your glowing skin. And then I was like, you should start with that. And then you're like, no, bro, I like it when we just hit roll. Then like, it's just supernatural. And then we literally just did that. And you're like, should we, should we restart this? This isn't good, is it? Starting out organically, shitting on me in the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> to be starting. fair, you shit on your sister. And then I, I'm just, I'm just watching Jessica's back. I've always shit on Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> that will never change. I love Jessica. She's starting karate now. Is yeah. It, is it Taekwondo or karate? Karate. Karate. Okay, did I just hear a train again? That was crazy. Okay, I heard we a train. We have right? train tracks nearby. Oh, We've we do. known this. I didn't know this. I thought they were by what? the Burbank Airport. It's been years. Okay, let's just get into this, guys. I'm so sorry. We're being very sporadic today. We are. And if you want to know why George's skin looks so amazing, it's because <laughs> he does this skincare routine with me now at night. We do it together. It's really I've nice. been I've been getting into like the health and wealth of my body, mm -hmm. um, and it started out with me uh, hiring a personal trainer, uh, taking the right amount of protein, eating correctly, and I was like, "Oh my god, bro! I feel like a different human being." Um, and I don't mean that in a cheesy way. Like mm -hmm. I, I seriously understand now why people are like, "If your health is not in order, then everything else is not in order." 100%. Hey, Simmy, um, that's my roommate. You can't see her because the cameras are not facing her. Crazy. No. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I've been having a lot of energy lately. I've been I've been feeling really good. And then Belle told me she goes, um, "You should do your skin. You, sh you should do my skin routine. My skincare routine." And I said no because I I I couldn't get thirty minutes out of my life to just wash my face. I don't get that. Yeah. If we ever are not, and we are in the very much the same schedule, like we our heads hit the pillow at the same time. But if for some reason he's getting in bed before me and I'm still in the bathroom getting ready. Oh, the stress. He's like, how much longer? He said, please turn the light off. And I'm like, well, you want me to do this in the dark? Like, <laughs> I would appreciate it. I cannot wait till we have a bathroom that's not, in, like, I thought, like, the open, we have an like, open, the open room policy. Yeah. That's shit. I hate that. I need doors, <laughs> especially when I want to shit, bro. Like, by the way, I'll lay it down. There's I'll, a door for the toilet. I'll, I'll poop really loud. I don't care. I'm, I think that's more manly. The, the louder it is, the, the aggressive my fiber is. Um, but for I, I, Belle, Belle doesn't like it. No. She like plays music in there. She like listens to things. Okay, we're not Classic is you just turn on the water faucet. Just, that's well, the that's on the outside. I used to do that. Uh, and then she got mad at me for like, you're wasting water. And I was like. Yeah, bro. And, yeah. Then, and then I cleaned my ass with water. <laughs> with my bidet. <laughs> yeah, we have a bidet. That's By the attached. way, if you don't have a bidet, dude, you need, you have a dirty asshole. Mm -hmm. Just straight up. Because mm -hmm. I had to wash my shit until I was bleeding. And I hated that. And look, what I'm did like, you just say? No, 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 no. I'm not even kidding. Like Joe Coy said this on stage as a joke. He used this as a bit, but mm -hmm. this is it related to me because I, dude, I, every time I would wipe, I would wipe until I knew it was clean, and I had to feel it being clean. It just grossed me out if I didn't. 
Now it's like, bro, that's gross. <laughs> and then it's done. It doesn't feel it with his hand. He just wipes until, you know, it's complete paper clear. Yeah. What did you think? I was like tested with my fingers. Like, yeah. Clean I mean, it how off. else can Ew, you feel? guys, guys. Is too, that gross? Too graphic. Listen. I think every man has done this. They've touched their genitals and smelt it. I think every man's done this, right? You've definitely have touched your private parts and smelled it. There's no way you haven't. I think it's I'm not, not human. talking. I'm not talking. This, There's I don't no like way you weren't throwing down a DJ set and smelt to see if it was. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Nah, we good. It's. it's, it's <laughs> We've peaked. Invest. We've peaked. In, we should end the. We should end the episode. It's not getting better than that. Invest man. in a bidet is <laughs> the is the moral of the story. You should invest in a bidet. I'm comfortable on this set now, bro. We just uh we just knocked out a few podcasts with um Brennan Schaub, uh Brian Callen, and uh and I started I started feeling it, man. I started feeling it uh and I feel confident, I feel good, I feel excited that we're doing this. Um <laughs> Oh, just so you know podcasts. your toes are in the wide shot. I don't know Shit. That. Yeah. <laughs> Blur my feet. Sorry. Put your socks on. Blur my if if it's something you're worried about and you're thinking I didn't mean about to make it, a it big thing. you ask if it's in the shy. If it is, but like you don't want that. But if you're fine with it, then obviously you're not fine with it. What? How did this get turned on me? You're the one worrying no, no, about no, no, your no, toes. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll cover my gross fucking gremlin feet for you. I love your feet because you can't fucking look at them. I, and by the way, I, I was shitting on French feet. people, and I thought I was gonna get like backfired on that. Was that on the? Patreon. That was on the Patreon. Yeah, that was on the Patreon exclusive full Bur- podcast. So there's a, we do a we do a very <laughs> like very unfiltered podcast, and there's like a good amount where I was just shitting on the certain certain people. We we got into uh, uh, French people, and I'm dating a French woman, so I could get away with saying they're assholes, and not you. That's because mm-hmm. that your Italian side kicked in and you're very nice. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, so I was just telling about my like my, my journey to Paris, and and I thought it was really funny because. I got, a, I got a comment this morning on my Patreon and the guy's like, I'm French and we are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was the fun. He said buttholes. Jessica had to correct me. <laughs> Is everybody okay? I feel kind of turned against today. I've got re talking Bro, about the you intro. Mean? You hate my feet. No. Jessica's just, just being oh. Jessica. I think I'm pretty neutral. You're not. I just want to keep an even, You're even battlefield. You're the one who was I see you looking feet. at me right now. And those are the eyes of judgment. You're about to comment on something. I was going to comment I on something. I watched you look up and down me <laughs> looking for something to use against me. I was going to, but I was like, no, I love you too much. <laughs> and Jessica and I love the rain. So just a little FYI, when it's a rainy day, it's so, so, so bright and sunny in my heart. I am so excited because growing up, we were in Arizona. We never got any rain. Um, so we, we were, we, we were <laughs> so the people tragic. that were outside that played in the rain. Are you okay? <laughs> By the way, just FYI, I her, her, her and I like face routine now became my favorite and I actually got excited about it. Yes. Because FYI, and a lot of men are going to understand this right when I say this. Do you know when you smile and it hurts? That's because your face is dry. Let me introduce you guys to moisturizer. <laughs> Georgie, like when he said to me. Wait, hold on. Jessica, what the hell did you just look at that you're covering your face like this for 30 minutes? No. Yeah. Well, no. And I had no idea. Hey, babe, you're screaming into the oh, mic. I'm sorry. Thank you. I had no idea. Because <laughs> she's over there. I'm sorry. We'll fix oh, it in post. <laughs> well, no. My, mom and dad were just like, "Hey, don't do drugs. Love Jesus Christ." And then everything else, I had to figure it out on my own. You just never paid attention. Of course not. I had ADHD, which I found out that ADHD stems from people fighting around me and me jumping into my imagination and not being involved in it. And let me tell you something. My parents used to say this to me growing up. Hey, hey, we fight each other because we love each other. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's fight? Wait, you ADHD is people ah! fighting around you? George, 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 listen. The families that don't fight... They're the ones you have to worry about. <laughs> this is, I feel like this is every brown person's anthem. And, but let me tell you guys something. I literally looked at them one day and I said this as a little boy. I said, why don't you guys just get a divorce already? Because I was sick of it. And my parents looked at me and they just started Damn. dying of laughter. And they're like, shut up, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> they're like, we love each other. We're expressing ourselves. And then I said, why don't you be like so-and-so's parents next door? I go, they never fight. And they're like, <laughs> they straight up, my dad looked at me. He goes, circle back to me when they're older. 
And I was like, okay. And then like three years later, they got a divorce. And you think my dad would come up to me and be like, son, you know. That's an Amber Somebody alert. died. No, it's an Amber Alert. It's Amber Alert? For no, the, it's a weather. Flash flood warning. Flood warning. Jessica just it. celebrated in the background. Are you? No. <laughs> that's because. Damn, I hope I can get home. No, it's that's because LA has no like drainage system. They just thought that, I don't know, we would never get rain. And I, so they, I, the streets are just not prepped for rain. I should yeah. definitely like, finish my story without leaving my parents looking like they just hate each other. They love each other. <laughs> they express themselves. And the people that I wanted them to be like got a divorce because they yeah. didn't express themselves. So really yell at your loved ones if you want to stick with them. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just, just see a therapist. I'm on one today, bro. Well, I'm telling you guys, I have I have some good energy and I want to get into some conversations. Babe, mm -hmm. how would you feel and react if right now you just found out that I was cheating on you? I literally told you, be careful of your facial expressions because <laughs> I'm going to drop some shit on you and we're going to be recording and make sure your facial expressions are okay. And she literally just goes... <laughs> Like she ate a Sour Patch Kid, bro. Like what's going on? Well, well I'm talking. I like, mean, that was yeah, pretty no. left field, no, bro. No, I have a reason for it. I'm going to get into course, a topic. But that's, but I of course, get... that's going to be my facial expression. Of course. Are we recording over here? No. Because this is some hot shit, bro. No, I <laughs> right. just realized I'm none of the cameras are recording. I'm this podcast a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm drinking the prime energy thing. and Yeah, like... I don't know if that's prime energy, man. <laughs> no, it's... It's prime energy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's great stuff, dude. And it's like low calories and da 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 It's good for you. Drink prime. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, it just gave me a lot of energy, but I don't know any of the, like, I'm, I'm not Mike. I'm not looking for a percentage of the company. I'm just, like, supporting my friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he goes, where's my percentage? I go, buddy, we have careers because of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's our percentage. Life. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm so, sorry. so uh, what's no? Shut up, shut up. Go ahead, tell, tell me what were you saying. <laughs> Ask me the question. Uh, yeah, what would you do if you found out that I was cheating on you? Mm. And 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 I'll give you a specific uh, one because this is what I saw on TikTok, and the way they reacted was like <laughs> a lot different than I would react. So, okay, okay, so okay. you open up my Snapchats, and you're noticing that I've been sending inappropriate pictures and receiving inappropriate pictures. Oh. Stop, you're making me so nauseous, Georgie. Um, <laughs> um what yeah, would yeah, I yeah. do? Scream in the mic again. We're gonna have so much post work. <laughs> um <laughs> <clears throat> What would I do? What would I do? Okay, let me think this through. Let me I'll, I'll think and then you I mean then you think as well, because I want to get you do you already know what you would do? What do you mean? If I All found right. out my girl was cheating on me? Yeah, yeah. You opened it up. You're in the passenger seat. She's driving and you're like, what the frick? Break up with her, cry for a month, move on. I, what else Break is there to do? Up, well, what that's, else the is obvious, there to do? that's the obvious I'm answer. I'm talking about to her in the moment. Yeah. Oh, like right then and there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's driving or I'm driving. Honestly, you know what? This is my honest answer. Yeah. I want to say that I would have this like deliberate way of, of, of presenting this in a very like smart, you know, smooth way and kind of like getting you in this. But honestly, I probably would just be shattered. I would probably throw up yep. because that would make me really nauseous. I would literally tell you to pull over. I would throw up. And then I, I honestly, I would probably just go ballistic on you. I'd be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I, like that would be my genuine reaction. How else am I going to react? I wouldn't have a smooth like you know saucy reaction i would just absolutely lose my mind <laughs> even though i like when she did that the i would shoulders. lose my mind and then i would say how dare you and i'd be and i would tell you you're effed for the rest of your life and yeah because you lost all this and that's it buddy and then i'd be out of your life and you would be sad forever i agree i would be sad forever i would never do that by the way yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, read. I don't know. I'm like the opposite of a reactionary person. Like, nothing like makes me scream or like, I never really get mad. At my, I think I just go like, I probably wouldn't say a single word. I just blast some Blink 182, drop her off at her house, and then just like call it a wrap or something. Are you like dead? talk to her like a week later? What? I don't think I could say a single thing in that moment, probably. I yeah. respect that. I probably wouldn't. Because there's shocked. nothing I could say. It's like, yeah. damn, you made your decision. Got it. I'm going to think for a minute. Yeah. But it would never, I, I could never stay with somebody ever, no. regardless. So the reason why I brought it up, <clears throat> I'm on TikTok. Mm. 
which means I'm congratulations, poop, which I'm pooping. Anytime I'm on TikTok, I'm pooping. Mm. If you receive a TikTok from me with an LOL or multiple in oh, a row, yeah. when I get five videos in a row, I know uh, you're in the bathroom. I'm shitting. Yeah. That's the only time I'm on TikTok is when I'm the pooping. The day is about to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get those Whoa. videos? <laughs> uh, so what happened in TikTok? I saw a TikTok and this guy's like, nah, I can't believe it. And he like put, like puts his phone. <laughs> Every TikTok. Ever. Bro, he's like, nah, <laughs> nah. And he's like going through her thing and he pants to this girl and this girl's just sobbing. He's like, what are you doing? Stop. It's not even funny. Like He's like, nah, nah, nah. And I realized that like I'm numb to this. I've seen this before. And mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, there's people out there that the first thing they think about. Content. This is, and dude, I swear to you, I'm not lying. The kid flips the package. He goes, I swear to God, I'm gonna show you guys this video. He goes, you guys tell me what I should do. Please <laughs> call me No. Hey man, that's fake. You think what? it's fake? No, no, it was real. Because you could see, he, like, the pictures were very inappropriate. So I was like, how is this even on the the app? Yeah. And then two, uh, the the girl was like crying, and it didn't look like oh. she was a real actress, and she was like very embarrassed. And I read the comments, and the comments were like very brutal. So I don't think a girl would do that to her image. Um, and then third, uh, in my heart, I just think it's real. <laughs> but right. but he turns the camera, and this is what killed me. It wasn't that he asked. He turned around, and you know when the camera's facing at you, and mm-hmm. you could see yourself. He's hurt. You could tell he's hurt. But he fixes his hair. And I'm like, oh. dude, you really just like he was cheating also. You think? Like, I don't know. How do you even wow, stomach hell. that? Yeah, like, he's probably nice. like, oh, well, Loki, like, he was probably doing something bad as well. And then he saw this and he was like, I'm going to tape this and get views online and embarrass her. Even, you know what I mean? I would never do that. I but don't know. talk about getting the best out of a bad situation, you know? Well, you would think, I don't know. Uh, I, I would feel like this is a little embarrassing. So if, embarrassing. You, if you cheated on me, I'd be embarrassed. I'd be 100%. like, damn, like, what did I True. not provide for you? I mean, even though that there's, situations where people treat uh, cheat and they're you know just Bad selfish people. and they mm-hmm. just they need that uh they like the 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 hiding factor i i am me and you are both the same way we me and you'd see shit if like if we're even holding information that's lying mm-hmm. like uh, we we're very open and that's how we sleep at night but there's people out there that love that shit they love like oh i got away with it again and it's like dude, dude you have a kid how do you, you have a kid bro gross. like you know what my question is is people who cheat and who like are in like serious relationships and they keep that from their partner, are you okay? Like, <laughs> is your anxiety not through the roof? How do you even like, how do you even do that? How do you even like start the act and, and send messages and then drive to another location and then do that? Like, how is your anxiety not killing you? Like, I just don't, I would never be able to stomach that. I could help you. So what I do when I'm driving to the other girl's house. <laughs> oh, really? When I'm driving to the other girl's house, I think, what would my mother do? And then for some reason, <laughs> just kidding. No, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like, and I've been cheated on. I feel like you know. Mm. You know what I mean? I think yeah. you know. You know, but then you don't want to know. So you like right. turn away. It cringes me out, to be honest. My, there was a girl that I did date, and I would just... Bro, the signs were, like, not even painted on the wall. They were texted to me. Like, like really? I could, oh, yeah, I knew. But it was just, like, I was, like, no way. Because mm-hmm. you just think of the sweetest moments you're with them, and you're, like, yeah. the most purest moments. You're, like, they can't do that to me. Yeah. yeah. There's no way. That's too evil. I, I didn't fall in love with an evil person. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's what hurts the most, is that when somebody else cheats on you... It's you weren't ready for that. You weren't ready to end the relationship. You're in you're in love. You want to be with that person. And then you get the news that they did something like that. It's just like like you weren't ready to be over with the relationship like that. I think that's you know what I mean? It's heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to bum you guys out, but I just wanted to know because I was like, damn, would Bell like turn the TikTok on me? <laughs> like like yeah. No. Yeah. I was thinking about this too, like cause we, we now we're starting to work together. We have some projects. Uh we have we're building our life together now. And I'm like, my God, bro, like, we're at like one, two percent. Mm-hmm. No, we're at like 20. We're at 20 <laughs> percent. We don't have, we don't, we're not married. And mm-hmm. then I, the reason why I stress on marriage is because I'm not just making a promise to you. I'm making a promise to God. And mm-hmm. I'd rather break a thousand promises to you than even one to God. So it's just like that alone is like a whole different level. Right. Yeah. And then I have my children. Mm-hmm. And how they view me as a man is how I'm trying to like, like you know, 
paint or act as a certain type of man to be a role model. My dad told me once because I thought he was cheating on, on my mom when I was when I was really younger. So I, I asked him, I go, have you ever cheated on, on mom? Mm. And he, he said something that really reassured me. He goes, if say I was like, you know, like it was when you get into marriage and it's like 50 years, it's mm-hmm. different. It's not like us where it's hot, we're young, we're fresh. 50 years, you're now dealing with like, you know, what's new out there? Like, what's this? Like, okay, maybe our relationship's not doing much, whatever. Yeah. There's their own hurdles. So I'll never judge a relationship because I don't want to be put in a place for me to even deal with it. Yeah. So I pray for them and I pray for myself. But I asked them just to reassure my heart. I go, what, mm-hmm. what is it that you had to deal with? And he looked at me, he goes, there was nothing to deal with. He goes, your mother is the love of my life. But then she gave me two items that I love even more than her. Mm. So if I would have ever risked it Mm -hmm. the risk to the reward is i now only lose her now but Mm -hmm. i lose my children he goes you would never look at me the same Mm -hmm. he goes your sister would never look at me the same Mm -hmm. he goes there's no urge on this earth that could ever make me risk losing the three things that i would die for he and so like the way he framed it i was like okay i get it like it it, cheating on a girlfriend is one thing, but cheating on your wife that you share a home with and children with and like a future with. Yeah, put your put your feet in your kids' shoes. Imagine your yeah. father, the one person that's supposed to set the image for you and tell you what a man is. Cheats on your mother, the one that raised you that like, mm. I can't imagine. That's, that's traumatizing. The kids are always but the it, real But it, go, it, it goes know? in responsibilities in both ways. And I, and I say this, I say like, I go to the gym to make sure like now that I'm like, I looked in the mirror one day and I said this to Bob, I'll be very vulnerable. I was so caught up in my work and building and everything. One day I looked in the mirror and I was like, well, what happened to me, bro? I used to have abs. I used to have arms and then I got super out of shape. And, and I was like, that's not fair. You didn't sign up for me being out of shape. You signed up for a fit man that's ready to attack the world. And I think what happens in relationships, you get comfortable and you're like, well, they love me, so they better take this. And it's like, mm-hmm. that's fucked up. That's like, oh, you love me, so I'm going to make you a meal, but it's going to be cold and three days old. So here, mm-hmm. take this. And it's like, no, no, no. If you're going to give me something, give me it to your best abilities. Mm-hmm. So I, I watch from other people's relationships and I'm like, you know what? It would be terrible if you ever cheated on me. But if you ever did cheat on me, one, yes, it would all it would be all you're doing because it's your actions. But what did the other person bring to the table? Do you get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that, that weighs on my heart too. I don't think cheating is, uh, is it's ever definitely not the solution. Never, if you feel, never. If you feel I would like break up with you way before I even imaged yeah. another woman yeah. in my mind. If you feel not loved, not like whatever it might be, not appreciated or, you know, break up with the person first. Or, or communicate it. Yeah. But communicate. Yeah. Cause maybe your partner doesn't even know. I didn't right. know. You never brought it up to me. They're like, Hey man, you look out of shape cause you loved me and you never even saw that. But that's not fair, bro. Like, like I'm, I just turned 30. If I would have kept that mindset of like eating cheese pizza, smoking weed, going to bed, mm-hmm. by the time I have a kid, I'm going to be out of shape. I'm going to be exhausted. All the tasks are going to be harder for me. Right. I didn't go into this marriage prepared as a warrior to like build a beautiful home and shit. Mm-hmm. So like I, I'm starting to just uh, evaluate tough decisions that I have to make in my life and, and take them. But I do them for you. Mm-hmm. And I do them for my family, Jessica, Reed, like the people around me. And I think the turn in my life that really helped me like be a ballsy man to like start my own podcast or like go do all these things is when I stopped thinking about just myself and started thinking about everybody around me. So 100%. Yeah. Huh. Well, yeah, in a relationship you have to, at the end of the day, you have to put your best foot forward in order for that relationship to like blossom and do well because it, you're responsible for keeping it interesting, for keeping it alive just as it was in the beginning. So what you expect from like your partner, like, expect to give that to your partner as well you know what i mean like put the effort into yeah doing the things that makes your other partner happy and like oh i know i know you love when i wear my hair a certain way so like i make sure that i i do that you know what i mean i make sure i do it a lot or whatever that might be you know what i mean yeah yeah i love it when in bed bell calls me king george the <laughs> third that's hot i i make her say it and mm-hmm. when i walk in she goes your highness and i go please where's the music mm-hmm. and then read naked but we don't see him because that would be weird there's mm. a plant blocking his bush mm. Mm. there's a bush blocking his bush and he has a trumpet mm. yeah. it was weirder before when jessica was the one that did that yeah, and then I, we were like you know that should that's we swapped weird. it out for reed yeah so reed's way better yeah yeah your trumpet yeah, skills are amazing reed. Yeah. long legs long. <laughs> they help a lot <laughs> 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 but wait i did make you a lord true yes 
I remember that. I'm double down as a lord too. I'm a lord somewhere else too. Remember, I like the company I worked with made yeah, me a lord, yeah, yeah. and then you made me they a lord. They took my shine, but it's whatever. no, no, no. You made me the first lord. Yeah. I, I am. Lord, I'm technically in reality. I am Lord George Janko. He is. Oh. If that doesn't turn you on, I don't know who you are. You own like this much land somewhere in like, what is it? Like yeah, Ireland I do. Or something? That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love us so much. I love us so much. Uh, let's get into some shit, man. I feel like there's a lot of cool topics that we were like already prepared to to kind of go into. Yeah, yeah let's I think talk somebody about was ready to it, present those. Yeah, it was Reed. To the group hurry up read um, read whoever it was jessica probably sent them a link to a note oh my god that they are that person is well probably i can opening. i can read you a little fact no 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 no, no. You want a i'm factoid? sure yes i would love you that want a factoid? This was go okay. okay you ready for this i would love that it's like i i too have to open this one. okay i too so did you know that every single person with blue eyes is technically related mm. so <laughs> Mm. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're a descendant of one single person scientists find according to research 10,000 years ago every single person on earth had brown eyes so researchers from the university of copenhagen wanted to figure out where things did i say it wrong i think it's copenhagen also copenhagen? Th- there's no way that's true um, well, the, I don't know, the researchers from Copenhagen wanted to figure out where things change. And it seems like blue eyes come from a genetic mutation from a singular human who lived between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago. And the reason they believe it all links back to one common ancestor is because every single person with blue eyes has the same mutation. So they think that the mutation could have spread when humans migrated from Africa to Europe. I might have to replace you as a co-host. I would prefer if that explanation was a little longer. I'm, I, I might feel have like to it could have just been you. a little bit. And if you do it again, I might have to get rid of you in general. What? These I'm the not pushing that. He's pushing way harder. Why I was joking. people cheat. I get okay. it now. Get it. <laughs> exactly ah, like I was Bro, because you say some stupid shit like that, bro. Like, what, How was that stupid? I completely don't agree with him. But. Nah, I'm going to Puerto Rico now. You should be very worried. <laughs> I pick up Puerto Rico. Girl. Are you? Okay? Hey, mommy. <laughs> Too far? Don't agree with anything you say. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Do you not like my factoid <laughs> about blue eyes? From no, one person? No, because that sounds like horseshit, bro. Why? No. Every every person <laughs> every person who has blue eyes has the same mutation, which is like a change in like their genetic like like one of their like little genetic genetics or chromosomes or whatever. They have like a mutation. They all have the similar mutation. Hold That's that really thought. Crazy. Hold that thought. And throw it out the window. Reed, go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, Cinemark, the movie theater, reported a fourth quarter loss of $98 million. Speaking of Cinemark, we went to Cinemark yesterday. Yeah, Congratulations. We went on a little cute date. We even took photos. Where's our photos? Oh, do we have one else? We'll, we'll put them up. Are you, do you guys post. take photos every time you go somewhere? No, but we just, we just, just decided yesterday that anytime we see a photo booth now, yeah. we're going to be taking oh. pictures of yeah. Oh, I saw those. Those are really cute. Yeah, and it was George's idea. We walked by the photo booth and he was like, we should go in that. And I was like, oh. I wonder what other girls he's taken in that photo booth. That he's, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. No. So, so Cinemark. Fun. I to do that. So Cinemark. Yes. Reported a fourth quarter loss of $98 million and saw overall revenue fall to $600 million. Mm. They are still trying to get people in their seats, stating people still love going to the movies. That's true. And are hopeful because <laughs> Amazon Studios' Ben Affleck Matt Damon drama airs Jess <laughs> airs really set good at for reading. a major <laughs> theatrical release and they hope that other streaming services will follow suit. So cool. Let's go to the next topic. Got it. <laughs> Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. And this production is a good one. But wait, I, I just want to say really quickly that I do love the movies and I think that movies is a fun experience and hopefully movie theaters never go out of business. I don't think they could ever fully go away. Um, I think at one point, yes, they will, unfortunately. But I, I no. think it's going to be very long from now. Probably won't be in our time of life. But Better not be. if they are, it's going to be like one city will hold like a few of them. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be and like they'll be like outstanding theaters with like probably like with all the bells and whistles. I don't think so. I think it would be like the old rundown ones and people are like, oh, this is like back in the Those day. are the dope. What I was going to yeah. say is like we're hearing about Cinemark right now, but the real the real sadness is like the mom and pop theaters that like yeah. are small and rickety and like tickets are cheap. And what? I've have... never been to a mom and pop movie theater. You're missing out, bro. Really? What? What are you yeah. talking? Like you've only gone to AMC and like... yeah. Damn. Parkins and like 
That's sad. It's all about the small theaters that like. Where have I've you been even one seen a long one of those? Time. I went to a Portland movie. when I lived in Portland. I oh always well, went yeah, to. it's Portland. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that actually holds up hundred <laughs> percent. No, those small theaters are where it's at, dude. Oh no, I get it. I get it. Because AMC companies like they'll they'll be fine. Yeah. I don't think okay. it would, bro. Look, they just lost $500 million in yeah, one no, year. Yeah, but no, but it's still going to be like the ones that are like, uh, what's it called? I pick or whatever. They're an experience. You go, you lay down, you have a full meal. It's like going mini golfing. Like nope, it's, it's nope, an activity. Nope. Those are the first ones to go. Why? Because no, nobody wants to spend $500 watching True, a movie. But that's why I think those will be the ones that yeah. stay because it's still like, it's an experience. Like, oh, we're going to go, like going to, not like it's the same thing, but like going to Disneyland. It's like, you're like, oh, this is going to be a fun, like, date night event where we're gonna go we're gonna eat you know no but i think you're so cute when you're using hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay so alec baldwin i like baldwin so he shot somebody and killed somebody accidentally for those of you guys alec baldwin know. and production armor were formally charged with involuntary manslaughter last month for the death of the movie cinematographer helena hutchins the movie's director joel sauza was also shot and injured yeah I mean, so no. was it a was it a single bullet? That I thought two people got killed. So how did one, one person th- died? One person's injured. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I thought two shots went off. No, so it must have been two shots. It or was it one? Did, did the bullet go to her and like nick somebody? Bro, if that's the case, that would be crazy. I mean, it's a, the whole and thing. And he was shooting from the hip. Yeah, the whole thing is incredibly sad. Um, but it's it's just like damn. It's like like it's not. You, is it his fault? Like, I don't know if it's be. his fault. It's, it's a I prop he's be. on set. That's what I'm saying. It like, can't be. I, well, I did one movie scene where I had a bunch of guns, and it's nowhere near an Alec Baldwin production. Yeah. And they had 17 people walk me through every weapon to check that it was not loaded, to yeah. go all the... So in my mind, how is it that such a huge company like this mm-hmm. has a real bullet... Yeah. In a gun for a very fake movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're yeah. okay, the people that handle the gun, if they put it in it, fair. Maybe they did it and somebody put a bullet in there, which means that there's they wanted somebody to die. And also, it's like, I'm jumping into conspiracies, but like... Like, there was one in the chamber and you just didn't Somebody see it. had to have messed up and knew that yeah. that was like a time to like do it. This is just that 0.001% yeah. time where I think it's just like... It's a very, very in bad my, mistake. I'm guessing it was a coincidence that just like never happened. That doesn't but make sense. What do you need a real bullet for? Checked. What do you need a real bullet but for? But maybe it was the gun. Maybe it was a gun that they used a real live gun. rounds get shot from sometimes and then yeah. but why did, transferred why? to a movie set. Maybe they didn't clear Dog. the chamber probably. It, nah, nah. Come on, guys. Come on. I don't know. Handing a real gun to somebody. Like I am a gun owner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't let people touch my gun. But if you are a friend or family we're going shooting before I hand you my gun in a proper range, yeah. I check eight times. 100%. And then when I hand it to you, there's regulations on how to hand it to somebody. I'm, I completely agree. What I'm so saying how is, is it that, that I, what you do didn't get done. But that's a set. Was, there should be multiple people. Oh, yeah, there should. There should. Have. Yeah. There should. I'm, okay. co- I'm completely on your page. No, I get it. But it, yeah. It bothers that me didn't though. happen. That's crazy. There's an assistant director. There's an armor. Yeah. There's supposed to be like and at the, least three. Checks. The director was on her way to do amazing things. Yeah, amazing things. She and was. Uh, yeah. She was looked at as somebody who was about to take off and do something very special in her so career. Sad, yeah. So it, it, it breaks my heart because I know what it feels like to to work your ass off to get to this type of point, and then somebody else takes it away from you. Well, that also it was the heart. cinematographer that. Passed away. The director is injured, and I believe stable. What did I say? I think you said the director. Did you not? Oh, I'm, I'm my bad. I did mean the uh, cinematographer. The cinematographer. Yeah. She's the one that was up for. It's a girl, right? Am I yes. tripping out? Yeah. Mm. No, it's the, no, that girl's right. very, very talented. She had a doc coming out that I was really excited for, and um, or it was a movie, but it, it had to do with certain topics that I, I wanted some light to be shined on. Mm. And mm. Uh, sorry, I got such a one second. Sorry, I got like a weird cramp and then I got a wedgie all in one. It was like it was a just a wedgie. <laughs> it's okay, man. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Let's go on to some more lighter news. Uh, but, you know, I'm very sad about that situation. Yeah. That's really cool. There's Jake Paul versus Tommy fight predictions, but that will have already happened by the time this episode goes out, which yeah. is crazy to think. 
That's like true. Should yeah. we should, then? Should we? I don't even know if we want to say anything about it. But so did you hear dang, what happened? Did you hear the new news that came out about Tommy Fury? So the old news what? for the audience, but new news for us. New news for us. Old for them. I don't care old about them. Me. Tell me. Supposedly, could be a PR thing. Supposedly, Tommy Fury mm-hmm. broke his sparring partner's jaw. Hmm. He looks like. He looks like a good fighter. I was looking at some of his stuff, but I th- this is my prediction. I think that if... T- I think that Jake is going to win regardless off of the factor of he could get into anybody's head mm-hmm. and tear you down even if you're in your most confident stage. And I think he's going to amplify that in the ring and then just piece you apart and talk shit in like just mentally wear you down until you're physically not able to get at yeah. him and he's mm-hmm. a really strong fighter and i feel like tommy fury has like been scared right we say that but also we're, we're all team jake right because that's our camp yeah. so we're like yeah yeah he's scared but also he did pull out multiple times but the mm-hmm. reasonings before were like oh uh, you know like it was kind of like fishy but like also again it's it's good pr bro because now yeah. everybody and their mother is excited about this fight yeah exactly maybe it was a pr thing maybe he knew if he pulled out that people would like yeah talk like about it more up. i don't know i have no idea all i know is that i think jake paul is gonna beat the living shit out of him god willing well, I have something right up your alley. <laughs> yeah, that's such a funny thing to hear after, like, I said such a dark thing about a human. I hope he beats the living shit out of him. I hope he bleeds so much, the front row smells iron. God willing. <laughs> like, well, Some Game like, of Thrones shit, dude. That was a little toxic, Belle. I'm sorry. Well, it's, a, it's for the sport, you know? Like, if he was a runner, I hope he wins the race. <laughs> God willing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're going to want to brace yourself real quick, George, because I have something that's going to get you excited. Mm. The Jonas Brothers are coming to Broadway. Oh. Wait, before I get too excited, <laughs> is it the actual Jonas Brothers or like people pretending to be the Jonas Brothers? Oh, well, I'd assume Jess knew it was the real Jonas Brothers and isn't spreading fake news, but they announced a five-night Broadway residency. And is it going to be like a concert? See, the bullet point doesn't go wrong. No, 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 no. Shut up. I'll tell both of you guys. Let me break this down for you guys and let me make this very fucking simple. Okay. I am the biggest Jonas Brothers fan. We know. Ever. Now people are like, what? Jonas Brothers? Shut up. Pussy. I compare them to the Beatles. I compare them to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Shut up. Kanye wishes he has the stage performance. Now of we're just the Jonas fun, Brothers. Huh? I'm hot. You're cold. See that like the air? The, you go around like you know. That was honestly fire. Yeah, I practiced fire. every day in my closet because I couldn't practice in my bedroom because if my All parents the other Jonas heard me, they'd, fans are also they'd get mad at me. But listen, let me, let me get back to the real thing. Do you know when the Jonas Brothers even found out that they were famous? They were filming Camp Rock and they came back to perform at a concert and then they realized that the, the crowd is singing. They're singing back to them. What kind of magical shit is that? What kind of fairy tale shit is that? That you don't know you're famous until the crowd is singing your songs back to you? God, I want to be at this show. It's very magical. And if you know anybody how many knows, times I've heard don't interrupt me when story. I'm when I'm talking about the Jonas Brothers because that will be the last straw in this relationship. Tori has told me this story with like conviction. Many if a the times. Jonas Brothers came up to me right now and they're like, "Listen, bro, <laughs> you, <laughs> you get to get front row tickets, but you can't bring Bell." I'll be like, who's Bell? Who's Bell? I would never stand in your way to who's go see the Bell? Jonas Brothers. Bell? I don't know, Bell. <laughs> Put me front row. I'll be the guy starting this shit. <laughs> it's called a wave. Um, as you guys know, I'm a huge Jonas Brothers fan. So if you Jonas Brothers are out there and they're listening to this and they're like, yo, we really like that guy who talks about Jesus on Impulsive. Remember, you started Christian, guys. You wore the freaking the thing where you couldn't fuck around and, and you would I always supported that shit. All the people at school were like, oh, look at you Jonas Brothers can't bone. I go, but you can't bone because you can't. They can't bone because they don't want to. I was standing up for you guys. I was standing up for you guys. When people were like, Did you watch their shit TV show? I go, excuse fucking me. Okay. Do you have a TV show, bitch? 
No. Do you have a TV show? I don't no. think so. The only thing I watch you do is act like an idiot. And then I oh. fucking mic dropped and just mm. left. Get George to the Jonas Brothers on Broadway. That's all I ask. I ask to just, you know, even if I can't make it, just like a hug. If I see you guys, I just want a hug. Or, or honestly, I'll give you guys my real fantasy. And this is like something I've actually pictured, right? I'm, <laughs> I'm at the bar with my girlfriend. We're taking shots. I'm throwing them back like a man, Ooh. right? No chasers because I don't need that. Mm. She looks shit. at me and she goes, this is the greatest night of my life. And then I go, you know what, baby? It's about to get better. Mm. And then I get on my hands and knees and I ask her to marry me. And then she looks at me and she's like, oh, my God, yes. And then we're crying. We're like, this day can't get better. We're at a karaoke spot and we're just having a great time. How many and times have you thought about this? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're like, who wants to go up next? And I'm just feeling it, right? I'm feeling it. And I'm like, you know what? I want to fucking sing. I want to sing right now because I'm in love. And they're like, all right, go ahead. And then they're like, what song? I go, shut up. The year 3000. <laughs> One day when I came home, that I don't want to get demonetized, right? And right. then all of a sudden some, some dudes at the bar turns around and I make eye contact and it's, it couldn't be. It's Nick. And Nick's like, stop, stop. And then they stop. They're like, do you mind if? If I sing with you, I go, Nick, this would be the greatest. Only if you, and right before I even finished, the brothers, I'm like, <gasps> no way. Surrounding you, George. Surrounding me. And now it's the Jonas Brothers plus George Janko. You're the fourth brother? Well, they have a fourth brother, but. I know that he's much younger, but he's not part of the band. Yeah, but don't disrespect him because he's equally important. Okay? okay, you're the fourth brother. Thank you, thank you. Because if they watch band. this and they think that you're disrespecting their brother like that, and I miss my chance I'm not on getting on stage. I know he has like blonde hair. Their, no, he doesn't. Okay. Doesn't he have like light brown hair or something? He made an appearance in their show. Okay, continue. Continue, continue. You're you're the fourth honorary brother, not <laughs> excluding their other fourth brother. <coughs> Go on. And we sing 3000, the year 3000. And then after that, they're like, dude, do you mind? If, if you want. Do you want to sing the SOS song? <laughs> like, <laughs> This is an SOS. And okay, and then that's the that's the rest of the night. Mm. I, that would be the highlight of my night. Even I, asking you to marry me wouldn't have been the highlight of my night. It would have been singing alongside the Jonas Brothers. That hurts a little. But um, <laughs> if I could make that happen for you, I would. Listen, if you could make that happen for you, I would make it happen for you that I'd carry your baby like a seahorse in my body. <laughs> I don't know if they do that. Did the seahorses do that? Definitely not, yeah, man. They don't do this, but the seahorse dads do carry the babies. Man, I'll carry that shit for you, bro. I'd, like Thank right you. here. <laughs> That's more realistic. <laughs> That's more realistic. <laughs> uh, actually, I know we just joked around, but I uh -huh. actually, I want to, I want to, um, I want to get a little. You want to get vulnerable real quick? I want to get vulnerable. Unless we have another one. Do we have another yeah, one? Yeah, definitely. Oh, never mind. There are now rumors that Kanye and Adidas have reached some sort of agreement. You know, because they had a falling out. Mm -hmm. Pretty big <laughs> one. Oh, shit. He had a falling <laughs> out. Uh, due to the Kanye and Adidas split, unfortunately for Adidas, this left them with $500 million worth of unsold Yeezys. While Adidas can still sell Yeezy, designs without the Yeezy logo on them, the $520, $520 million of inv inventory in question still had Ye's insignias. As a result, the brand was stuck with the inventory, leading the leading to reports that the company would lose over a billion dollars in revenue this year in unsellable products. Hmm. Wow. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. I don't have much to say about Kanye, do you? True. Well, I'm going to, we're going to move on. Is there, <laughs> <laughs> That's it, huh? Is there anything else? That, what's up, dude? Uh, How are you? Is That's so funny. If you like it's basically then the other bold point is that it's just speculated. So it's just speculated news. Speculation. Oh, speculation. Speculation. Well, I, you know what? I hope Kanye learned his lesson. Um, and I'm sure he did, man. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> only lost his family, kids, money, businesses. He's Job. He's the, he's the real life Job, except for he asked for it. Yeah. And Job was just kind of minding his own business. Uh, so anyways, how are you doing? <laughs> so how are you? You want another factoid? Uh, mm, I don't know if I want any more of your factoids. And by factoids, I mean I'm getting them from TikTok, of course. TikTok news. Okay, go ahead. Give me your factoid nudes. Okay. Factoid Not what? Nudes. <laughs> nudes. <laughs> factoid nudes. Um. <laughs> okay. I got one too afterwards. Not a factoid, but a testimony, and and I and I am excited about this testimony. Of what? I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. okay. All right. Well, this is actually pretty... This is sad. 
fuck, dude. Come on, no, it's, bro. No, it's not that sad. It's not bro. sad as some of the I just set up a DJ set. Oh, like, Jesus. <laughs> and she's like, stop. <laughs> We're about to talk to oh. about something very sad. No, no, no. It's not as sad as some of my other ones have been. It's just, you know, this is just like, oh, okay. According to a new study, the world is literally getting less colorful. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, oh, but I want you to hear this. That's this is, really I, sad, bro. I need, for the sake of this growth of a podcast, I need to know in the comment sections if anybody is sick and tired of these little... Here's the thing, man. They all love it. That's the part. That's I like, love them. I love them, like, a lot. And listen, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they are hard-hitting news, and sometimes they're just, like, fun, you know? And I think that's what's fun about it, is that they're unpredictable. <laughs> well... Just, I feel like all of your facts are kind of like, they're not facts. The world is not less colorful. Okay, well, you haven't even heard it. Listen. Okay. <clears throat> Starting from the 1980s, a discovery was made by the largest companies in the world. And what they realize is that for their products to appeal to the most amounts of people possible, they can't be making cert certain products bright colors. Right, like they real Apple realized, okay, if we make phones that are like neon pink and and neon green, it's not gonna appeal to everybody. So they slowly changed <laughs> from colored logos to white, black, gray colors, and with that, influenced the rest of the world. So things, okay. you know, you. yeah, we're very bright, and colorful, and then they're like, okay, let's dim it down, let's make it more so that it's you know likable to everybody, and then everybody followed. So everybody, everything started getting less colorful. So now buildings are less colorful, cars are less colorful, clothes, cell phones, etc. And colors have a huge effect on the human brain. For example, in Swiss, Switzerland, 20% of their prisons and police stations have at least one pink cell to calm aggressive prisoners. So they literally have like a cell room that's completely in pink. And they Whoa. put like the really aggressive one to like help them, you know? Who's the guy that sits in there? <laughs> Come on, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Why do I have to be in here, bro? This That's no. upsetting. That upset him. Because <laughs> <laughs> pink, pink saves. Okay. So, <laughs> so colors just affects all our moods and emotions. I mean, certain colors make you, they make you hungry, happy, aroused. Even, they even affect our physical strength. And uh, studies showed that people with depression showed gray as the color that would represent their depression the best. And now gray is literally the color that we use the most. Gray, like currently is the one color that, you know, in buildings and modern decorations, like everything, we have so much gray now in our world. And that is literally what people describe their depression as. And so this is just like to show like the world is getting less colorful and that can impact us in a, in a really bad way because you know what I mean? It, it does affect the way that we like see, feel things. You know, you agree with me. I know for a fact that I'll never love anything more than you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just know well, it. Bro. I love you too. But I, you could, know I could hear you talk about anything and I'm just like, I, I will listen to you. Thank you. Cause it's a good, it's a good topic. No, no, that's not. That's why I'm demonstrating my love for you. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, bro. It's not a, just imagine a first date. Yeah, so anyway, studies have shown that uh, everybody's depressed right now because of gray. Yeah, gray. It's gray is like, you know, you know when people describe their, uh, well, their sorrows. Well, like, this is first date. Have uh, you ever had an uncle get stabbed to death? You know, that to me, I think of gray when I think of that. So They, you know. they do. Take a look around, man. Everything's great because Apple, the phone product, was like, we can't sell phones. If, uh, hey, it's Steve Jobs' birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Steve Jobs. Happy birthday, Thanks for Steve. making us less colorful. Um, Jeez, dude. Yeah, you know he, he's, he's dead. He's dead, bro. <laughs> oh, my. He's like one of the most celebrated people in the world, bro. That's fucked up. My okay. girlfriend just demonstrated the color gray. Oh, <laughs> there you go. See, that's no, obviously Steve Jobs, a remarkable person. Like, thank you for everything you've done for us. Uh, dude, I didn't mean it towards dude, him, nope. bro. It you was just, just RSV RSVP'd in hell. You're just no. journey. Table for two, please. It I gotta just, bring George. He laughed too hard. I brought my topic full circle and that's all it was. You know what I mean? Um, on another note. Yeah. We got another one. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how I could trace the conversation. Do you have any other TikTok news? You know how you could top that? 
Um, well, no, I mean, no, to be honest, no, mm-hmm. I can't. And, and to, to go into my like serious thing after that, I can't. Why? If anybody can do it, it's you, bro. I mean, I'm going to go through my notes because I definitely have some things that I do want to talk about. Um, here's one. I just learned this, but I don't know if this is a hundred percent true. And I would love if you could Google this read while we're talking about this. Right. Um, <laughs> but the smell of chlorine is supposed to be scentless. You're not supposed to smell chlorine. Okay. And the only reason you smell the chlorine mm-hmm. is Absolutely. because it's pee. No, I, they put they added <coughs> a scent of chlorine so that you know that it's like there, right? <coughs> like certain chemicals are like they don't have a scent, but they add the smell to it so that you can know, like you can be aware that it's there. Like gasoline, but I don't think that's what's chlorine. I'm just going to read the first thing that popped up on Google. Thank you. What actually causes the distinct irritating smell around swimming pools is not chlorine. That's an urban myth. But volatile substances known as chloramines. Chloramines form in pool water when chlorine combines with contaminants brought into the pool by swimmers. Think urine, perspiration, body oils, and cosmetics. Bro. So, so that, that smell is, is the chlorine interacting with. So if you realize when you go into mm. like a gym, you're like, wow, they're really clean in here. No, they're not. No way. You no, they're be not. Smelling and if you ever, really if you out. ever like people growing up with me, if they ever came to our pool and they're like, wow, this place is really clean. It's because you're peeing in it. I was always peeing in the pool. Wait. Always. Yeah. You're good. You're 100%. cool. Like, your up parents- until the age of 28. I was always peeing. I literally turned 30 and I was like, I got to stop doing this because I would, I'm surprised nobody caught me because I'd just be in the hot tub and then this is how you know if I'm peeing. Ready? Wait, babe, you would literally sit there and pee in your parents' pool and jacuzzi? While they're next to me. <laughs> That's so messed up. Like a sick fuck, bro. That's so messed up. Sometimes I would do it yeah. so much that I was like, how is nobody here getting pink eye? I was upset. I was like upset at it. Also, you know, That's they said not if, how you you get ha- pink eye. if you have diarrhea, no, no, follow me. If you have diarrhea, oh, do not go no. into the hot tub. Every time I had diarrhea, I'd go into the hot tub. Because I was like, what happened? Well, what happened? Tell me okay, what happened. I was on board with you. With the peeing stuff. Oh, now but you're feces is where you cross the line. Yeah, so absolutely. this chlorine topic is better than <laughs> than than the world being affected by colors. Get well, this the is the thing, Bell. Is we can God. have a conversation. It's hard to go somewhere with yeah. everything's gray. Yeah, everything. Listen, babe. <laughs> listen, I know you're having a great day, but look around. <laughs> look around. <laughs> it's great. It's not great. It's great. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, if you're at your friend's house and it smells like uh, chlorine, just remember. It ain't clean. It ain't chlorine, bro. You've been pissing. That's crazy. <laughs> You've been pissing, bro. It's probably My George. parents are going to call me after watching this podcast and be like, are you, you disgusting are you piece of-, of shit? Why would you lie on the podcast and say that? And I'll be like, yeah, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I was young, bro. 28, dude. No one told me. 28. <laughs> okay, here's the reason why. And I think anybody who's a feller peer. Feller. Fe- well, feller peer. Fellow peer. Feller peer. Um, I thought the chlorine would kill it. Like, as soon as my piss left my pee pee hole, like this, look, 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 I thought it was like, like, you know, like a, like a lighter to gas, like it would just go away. Yep. It doesn't. I just could never, in right conscious, do that to somebody else in the pool with them. I think I stopped doing You've that. You've never peed in a pool? I peed in a pool when I was a kid. You, okay, do you pee this in is, pools? This is the crazy part, Or in though. the ocean. This is what makes it okay. They'll never know. No. They'll That's what, know. like, you... They're going to know. And it's over. They'll like, never know. There's not even... So, I stopped peeing in a pool for a year. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Only George has, I, like, a... Okay, bro, so listen. For so a year? I did this, I did for this one year? For, no, 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 no. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I stopped peeing in a pool for one year because I watched Grown Ups. And there's a scene in the movie of Grown Ups. Oh, yeah. When the, the parents or the kids are going, Dad, are you going tinkle? And he goes, no, why would you say that? He goes, Dad, are you going tinkle? Or something like that. And he's like, no, why would you say that? And it was blue all around them. They're yeah. like, they put a special chemical in there to, so if anybody pees, they could see it. Yeah. Bro. That scared so many men. I could. You know what I would do? I would let a little go. I would, <laughs> I would test. I would test. I would let a little go out of my pee pee, right? And if there was like little blue, and I'll look down, and then if there wasn't, then you just see this. <laughs> they don't have any security measures over here. You're nuts, bro. A pool is not that big. You're in this amount of body of water. It's not that big. You're not true. I grew up very, very, pee? very rich. Our pool was big. I could pee in there all year, and it didn't. Smell Doesn't like matter water. how big your pool is. It's still <laughs> only, only amount of. So much water. Okay, whatever, dude. What about what happens to uh, you know the salt pool? You know the, the people that got salt pools. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> you want to do this? <laughs> Are you sprinkling the salt? Like a is little crab. Is that how you signify salt? Um, the salt pools. Okay, let's move on from ping and pulls. I feel like I uh, liked it. Just don't do it. Okay. I did Just like it. Just don't do it. How do you guys like segment. these podcasts? Because so far, this is my favorite one. I think this is great. <laughs> this has been fun. <laughs> cool. Cool. Should we, I feel like we should wrap here. I think. Yeah. Should, I think uh, they might be pissed. Also, we've been doing really long podcasts. This is still like almost an hour. No, this is an hour. Yeah. 55 minutes? Yeah, almost round an up. hour. Mm. Oh, that, that qualifies as almost an hour. All right, well, thanks for watching. Guys. Oh, by the way, we changed the name of the show. Mm. We probably should mention that should at the end when intro. nobody's watching. Um, Smart. Only mm. the, only, I, actually, comment down below if you got all the way here because my heart would just... Uh, we're going to name it... Could you give me a drum roll? I, uh, I said drum roll, not Uzi. Listen, I can only control... I was like, drum roll, push that... <laughs> Okay, so I'll do my own drum roll. Got it. <laughs> Dude, what is that? Bro, announce That sounds like it. a flat tire. <laughs> no, that sounds Mexican. <laughs> He's not okay. He's mad. He was making yeah. fun of your sounds. He's screaming, yeah. He's just laughing right now. Grandmother Georgina oh, has, has stepped in the room. The little elbows, they got me, bro. The <laughs> elbows, they got me. Okay, so the new show's name is going to be called... Well, same show. It's not a new show. The, the new show's name is going to be uh, <coughs> the George Jacob show. <laughs> wow, they're really excited, man. But the, the delivery was great. Here's the reason why. Uh, I always wanted it to be called the George Janko show, but I thought it was... Everybody uses their name, and it's weird. <coughs> George. And, and I wanted to. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't Slow down, clear, man. Clear it away from the mic. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh my Take God. a second, bro. Oh, sorry, sorry. And then I have a new management company. Shout out uh, Davidge. And he sat me down. And he goes, "The new name. It's shit. I hate it." And I go, <laughs> "What?" And he goes, "I actually. It made me not want to represent you." And I was like, "Why?" And once he mentioned that he didn't like it, I realized in my heart I didn't really like it either. Um, <laughs> And also growing up, not for nothing, the reason why I did I did lean towards the George Janko show is because I would always talk so much. And growing up, all the kids that were making fun of me would always be like, oh, here comes the George Janko show. And it's like, I feel like they manifested it for Damn. me. Damn. So shout out to everybody in the third grade that yelled at me for stuttering and always popcorned me because I couldn't read. Boop, 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 boop. Can't read, but I can count these checks. Oh, oh. I, I can't actually count these checks. I'm yeah. very dyslexic. It's, it's, it's very hard. I'm still dealing with it, actually. That's why you brought his Your words out. still hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Dyslexia is still a thing for me. <clears throat> like and subscribe. Wow. Uh, I hope you guys liked everything that we had going on here. I, I, I love talking to you or guys. Or just some of it, at least. <clears throat> for the most part. Thanks for tuning <clears throat> in. I love you guys to so much. To the George Janko Show. Nice. <clears throat> Bye. Uh, check it. Uh, <laughs>